Every second, your body is fighting off tiny invaders. Bacteria, viruses, and fungi are always trying to get inside and make you sick. That's why you have a super-powered defense system called your immune system that's working around the clock to keep you healthy. It's like a silent army protecting you. Let's imagine this army has 12 main jobs, like attacking, communicating, and cleaning up. This is all done by 21 different kinds of cells, plus two protein forces. These cells are like specialized soldiers, each with a few different roles to play. Let's see how they work together. We'll use colors to show what job each cell is focusing on. Now let's look at our defense system cells with their colored jobs. Isn't this system amazing? For this video, we'll focus on just these cells. So, what happens when you get an infection? Imagine you get a cut. Ouch. Suddenly, bacteria can get past your skin, which is like your body's first wall. These bacteria are tiny, but they multiply very quickly. At first, you might not even notice them, but soon, they start to damage your body. Your immune system needs to stop them fast. The first responders are big cells called macrophages. They patrol your body looking for trouble. They can gobble up about 100 invaders each. They surround the bacteria, trap them, and break them down. They also cause inflammation, making the area a bit red and swollen, which actually helps the fight. If the macrophages can't handle it alone, they send out a message for backup. Special cells called neutrophils arrive to help. These guys are tough. They attack the bacteria with everything they've got, even harming some healthy cells in the process and trapping bacteria. They are so effective that they are designed to self-destruct after a few days to avoid harming your body further. If the fight still isn't over, a brain cell of the immune system gets involved. This is the dendritic cell. It collects pieces of the enemy bacteria and shows them off, kind of like a wanted poster. The dendritic cell now needs to choose whether to fight a virus or bacteria. In our case, it calls for help against bacteria, traveling to a place called a lymph node. Inside the lymph node, billions of special defense cells called T cells are waiting. These cells have special training and will only attack certain invaders. The dendritic cell finds a T cell that matches the wanted poster of the bacteria. This special T cell then starts to multiply really fast. Some become memory cells, ready for next time. Others go to the battle to help, and others go to another factory of the immune system. Like T cells, there are also special B cells that when matched with the specific T cell, become defense factories. They multiply very fast and then work really hard to produce lots of weapons called antibodies. Helper T cells give signals to those factories to not give up and to produce all the antibodies you need for the fight. These factories die soon after to not waste resources. What do antibodies do? Well, they are designed to stick to the surface of the enemy bacteria. Think of them like little missiles. They help to disable the bacteria and help other immune cells destroy them. Meanwhile, at the cut site, things are getting intense. The bacteria multiply, your body fights hard. The macrophages and neutrophils are doing their best, but the antibodies arrive to really turn the tables. They disable the bacteria and mark them to be devoured by other immune cells. Finally, the battle is won and the infection is defeated. Millions of cells were lost, but the body replaces them quickly. Most immune cells die after the infection as they are no longer needed, but some become memory cells. They will remember the bacteria and will be ready to attack them again, next time, much faster. Now, where do vaccines come in? 
Vaccines work by showing your immune system a preview of a specific enemy, like a virus or bacteria. Vaccines contain parts of the enemy or weakened version of it that are harmless but will trigger the immune response. When you get a vaccine, your body creates those memory cells without ever getting sick. Then, if the real enemy shows up, your memory cells will recognize it and will be ready to attack. So, vaccines prepare your body to fight off diseases, and they're a safe and effective way to boost your immune system. This was a simple explanation of part of our amazing immune system. It's super complex, but when you understand a bit of how it works, you can really see the beauty in it. Share this video with your friends whom you want to motivate and help grow. Like and subscribe to support us. As always, thanks for watching.